So um, I wanted to, uh, you know, raise the level of exercise that I do throughout the week. Right now, I probably exercise. Well, currently, I'm exercising twice a day, and I'll do that maybe three times a week. And it's not over exercising because I'm doing specific exercises for martial arts. So it all depends on what you're looking for. You know, so if you're a bodybuilder, you may do more or less depending on your body type and your nutrition and your daily habits. But you need to really know why you're getting a rack. And I'm assuming if you're looking at this video and you're considering getting a rack, um, it's it's uh it's something you've already thought about and something you've decided that that you want to do now there's two major brands out there i think and and it's uh rogue and personally i believe it's this this my rack from force usa now i was going to buy the rogue and i've actually seen the rogue head up and uh you know face to face and i've used it and it's very difficult to deny the quality of rogue so and i was actually afraid to get this force usa but I will tell you, having gotten it, it is a solid piece of material. Uh, the machinery, the, the, it's easily put together. It's well crafted. It's very sturdy. I mean, I can swing on this thing. It really doesn't matter. And the cool part about it is it's very affordable uh, compared to Rogue. So I purchased the $499 um, you know, rack here. And it's called My Rack Complete because it's modular, meaning you can just buy the rack or you can buy the rack plus with all these other attachments. So what I purchased was the rack with um, many of the other attachments. So here's the list of uh, things that I purchased here. So I have the... I have the my rack complete you know that's that's the base model I bought the bench and I'll talk about the bench in a little bit I bought the uh, two deluxe J hooks the deluxe ones um, you know are very solid it's worth the money I bought the uh, my rack band pegs I bought two of those two sets of those and then I bought the weight plate holders for the side um, I also bought the monolith uh, system for when I'm doing squats and I don't really have to step back in order to complete the squat. Um, I also bought the safety spotter arms for the front and these you can use inside also but I didn't want to have to uh, go you know remove them from the inside bring them to the outside when I'm doing things so I bought two of those I bought uh, the safety spotter arms for the outside and I also bought the inside box tube safety. I bought the uh, classic grip chin-up bar, and then I also bought the My Rack monkey bars. I bought actually uh, one of those, and that I believe that comes with yeah, it came with the thick and the thin version. So that's the um, order that I have there. And when you look on the website, you can see that there's a lot of uh, more attachments. I did not get the cable crossing. So you have the cable crossing with the seat, and this actually attaches onto the side of it. And you have a few more attachments here. But I did get the bench, and this bench is $379, but I'm telling you right now, this bench is completely worth it. It's very strong, it's sturdy. It's a very sturdy bench, although you do have to put it together yourself because when they ship it to you, they ship it through a company that is very responsive. I'm actually surprised here uh, in this regards because there was a hurricane going on, especially where this company was. They still got everything on time. They still answer their phones. They got everything here exactly when they said they would. As a matter of fact, it was here early. I had to postpone it another day in order to get everything I wanted um, because I made a mistake in scheduling. But they were here early. They were ready to go. And when they said they would get here, they were here. They don't take tips, so I tried to tip the guy for bringing it, being on time. And the only thing you have to realize is that it's a freight delivery, which means they cannot bring it into the home. You must, um, you, you must be able to have it delivered at, uh, in the front of your home, either in your uh, driveway or something like that, uh, and then you can bring it in from there. They just drop it off uh, with a crate. So um, you get them in these packages like this, and um, all the pieces come individually packed. And each 
individually packed piece, uh, except for the base bar, I mean the base frame. The base frame comes in this long one right here. Uh, but each individual piece um, has instructions that come with it. Uh, I might be talking about this bar. This is a really nice bar that I got. Um, and it is, uh, the this bar is called Lumberjack from Xmark. Um, I got the bar from Xmark. I also got the Xmark weights, which were pretty affordable and pretty solid. I must say that Xmark surprised me. I'm not doing a review on these weights, but right now, but uh, Xmark's weights were really good. So I ended up getting those uh, along with the um, the Force USA. I actually think this is a pretty good combination to have uh, those weights plus the uh, bar and the uh, uh, Force USA. So when you unpack everything, you'll get uh, everything uh, is organized like this. Like uh, you'll get all the pieces in the box and then any tools that you need uh, will be packaged along with the with the screws and everything that you need here. So this is shrink wrapped. The only thing I would say is watch when you pull it off because you you may pull off the words and not know which screws that you're supposed to use. And this is when uh, I'm talking about this because this is related to the bench when you're putting together the bench if you purchase the bench. Everything is broken down this way. There's the manual that goes with it. Uh, and the manual is not very helpful. Uh, you really have to look at the diagram closely um, because the bench is not exactly that straightforward, I don't think, uh, in the manual. Uh, and so you get all these pieces separate and then you go ahead and you put those together with the bench. One sort of note on the bench is that when you're putting it together, there's a, there's a series of screws that they do not have marked. And I want to warn you of this because this right here, this O-ring right here, is not marked in the, the diagram on the, um, you know, the, the shrink-wrapped screws and those sort of things. It's not even um, labeled. So whenever you have something that's not labeled, first and foremost, go look into the, uh, look into the, there's a bag with some screws and O-rings in there look in there because that's where it would be so the manual will tell you okay here use number 63 o-ring or use number 55 screw those will definitely be shrink wrapped but when it says use like let's say 23 and i think that's what this was if it has a number like 23 or something like that it's not going to be shrink wrapped it's going to be inside of the little bag that they give you that's not something that's explained and what happens is you end up using the ring that's in there and you end up putting together putting it together without the piece the proper piece there you you'll use something that looks similar to it because you won't really know that it's in the a bag that's not really marked or labeled so that's one thing i really want to warn everybody about that's kind of what happened to me so i had to detach this part luckily it wasn't something where i had to take off take off the whole bench i just had to unscrew a few things and then put that there so the bench wouldn't be wobbly or or anything like that an issue I have with the bench, this bench is pretty expensive, like I said. There's a there's a part uh, on the bench where you take off, you know, the, there's a leg lift part, and then there's an area, uh, uh, um, an attachment to the bench where you can do your bicep curls and your tricep um, triceps. Um, but on the back of the back of that, you can see here, the leather is kind of just taped you know stapled on there but then they leave some of the leather open and you're like dude I just spent over three hundred dollars for this you know this thing and um, you know you could have at least done a little bit better job at least put another you know there's staple there at least you know this is an issue that I have with this but other than that everything else is very high quality one more thing I want to point out if you get the bench is that the, the screw that you see right here cannot you cannot screw this on unless you screw this on last. So what I ended up doing, as you can see, the armrest is on. So I should have first make sure, and they don't tell you this in the manual, by the way. You first have to screw this part on and then screw this on. In order, it's just something I just wanted to inform everybody about in case if they're doing it. 
uh, you know, they run into the same issues that I had. And that was kind of my mistake. That not kind of it actually was my mistake because it's obvious that this screw would be covered by this. But the problem is they tell you not to tighten everything until the end. So you end up putting this on loose, you put this on loose, then you put this on loose. But what you should do is put it on loose, put it on loose, then tighten both of them, then put this on last and ignore what the book was telling you. Here is another angle of, you know, the shoddy stapling that they did on that arm, you know, the, the curling um, armrest uh, for the bench. But uh, like I said, again, if this is the, the least of my problems, I don't have a problem with it. It's not that big a deal. It's not like I'm going to be working on the back of this area anyway. And just for craps and giggles, here's a picture of the last movie we just did. Having nothing to do with exercising. So, all right, let's move on. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys. If you go down here, you look at their reviews. Uh, this is not fake. I would completely agree with every last one of these reviews, including the customer service, the time that I called them. And before I even bought this rack, I was looking at a few other reviews, um, especially on, not on this per se, but on the, uh, on the Rogue. And one of the main things they talked about, not just the quality, but the review. And I will tell you that this company is serious about what they're doing. They're serious about making a quality product. And, uh, you know, just a few weeks I've been using it, actually, it's almost a few weeks that I've been using it. Uh, I, have, I haven't had any complaints, no trouble. It's still as solid as it ever was. Um, so I really think if you're going to get a rack, you will not have any issues with buying this particular rack. Uh, and you will not be disappointed in spending the money on the bench or any of the other peripherals. And I believe that they're going to enhance this thing and build more and more on top of this come up with new ideas and I think they're even open to ideas so please check it out and um, let me give you guys a quick uh, view of how it looks uh, I think I did a few warm-up exercises um, but before we do that I really want to show you guys something here uh, these are the plates uh, uh, plate attachments that I, I bought um, the only thing I would say about the plate attachments now, when you look at this picture here, you can tell now that it is plastic. So don't believe that this is metal or anything. That's plastic. So if you got a problem with that, then you know you make sure that you buy something separately that'll fit these standard holes that they have on side of the, on on the side of the rack. So after I was done putting all of this together, um, you know my um, I can. You can look at the quality here, and the weights, um, the weight holders seem to work pretty good. Those pegs for the weights, um, as you go through, you can see that they give you their logo right pasted on that thing. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, they should have probably made it look a little bit cooler than that, though. Um, the other thing is, you have your numbering system on the side. You can look at this J hook right here. This is the this is the higher quality J hook. I got that one because I know how the the cheaper ones are, and I'm I haven't tried theirs, but they do have a cheaper one. But I know how the cheaper ones are, and I don't like how they move around or anything like that. Uh, this J hook does not move around at all. It fits perfectly. It's laser cut, I believe, to fit perfectly with the with the rack itself. You have these numbering systems on the side, in the front, and in the back over here. Uh, and here are the safeties right here. As you can see, I have the pegs down here, right? Uh, I have pegs over here. I bought two sets of those. If you buy one set, you get two of these. So I bought two sets so I can have them on both sides. The only thing I would say, though, is there's no pegs on the top. So you can't put the, the pegs on the top. But you can just use the rack to do something like that if that's what you like. Now, when you look up on uh, the rack that I have here, You'll see I have these two uh, the two monkey bars, actually. So I have the thicker one, or pull-up bars, let's say. I have the thicker one, and I have the thinner one. And then I have the multi-grip bar. So you don't really need all these bars. I use these different bars for different reasons. Uh, so I, I got them. I'm not even sure if I will use them all or if it's even um, necessary for it to be on this rack. But I did know 
in you know beforehand that I may even get an attachment to this rack to extend it so that's why I didn't mind getting all three so here as we go around this way um, I don't have the the safety in uh, in the middle because I was doing something so I just want to show you guys how this the safety the middle safety works it goes all the way across it fits directly into this system with ease no problem whatsoever the front safeties are pretty easily attached I just didn't want to have to attach the front and the back uh, I got these uh, resistance bands so that I can hook it up to the top and be able to add to my exercises I got two of these this one right here is one of the strongest there's one more stronger that I have that's black and I'll talk about this company later but it's a pretty good company these resistance bands are I've been using these things and they're very uh, you know effective um, another thing I wanted to talk about are these weights right here this is X X mark now I have the X mark weights and my bar, my weightlifting bar is X mark, and the quality on both of these are awesome. It's actually better than I expected for the price. I thought that it wouldn't be as good, and I was like, okay, I'll just get these for now, then I'll get something more professional later. But I don't have a problem with these. And so, um, as we move forward, I, here's a little close-up of these J hooks. You can see how thick this thing is on the side, the welds, I mean everything about this is perfect and I'm glad I spent the money on this. This this thick plastic here, it looks like it's going to last forever and it prevents any damage and it prevents any moving around. I mean it's really good. I think you're really going to enjoy this and I think it's necessary that you get these J hooks if you don't get anything else with this thing um, to really get a really good experience when you're bench pressing or, or, or squatting. And so I wanted to point a few things out on this bench. They have this stitched into the bench, which is pretty cool. It's not just some, you know, uh, sticker that they put on there. Um, I wanted to point out the different, uh, the very various uh, levels that you can do on this bench. Right, right now it's in a standard, you know, neutral state to where you're just going to lay down and you're going to do your bench press or something like that. But you can raise this bench up. Very solid bench. You can raise this bench up and go ahead and change the different height to the bench so where you're now able to do your incline uh, bench press you can do your decline you can do your your shoulders on this here's the decline position um, and it's easy to to adjust and you feel very comfortable on this thing it, it, it's very solid it doesn't wiggle around or anything like that So I'll just show you guys really quick about, uh, you know, just some examples of what I mean by how sturdy this this uh, this bench press is. So I'm just going to do a few reps on this bench here. When I take it off, you can see nothing's rattling around or moving around. The, the bench itself, the rack is not rattling around. The bench itself is not wobbling or anything like that. That's, pro that's me pushing that. I'm, I'm exploding on the top. When I put the weights back on, you don't see, although I understand it's not a lot of weight, but you can see there's still no rattling around, and this is not bolted into the ground. So the last thing I'll show you guys is some, uh, some leg lifts that I was doing uh, on this thing. And, you know, nothing too fancy, just warming up, just trying to get my body moving. Um, and you can see my legs are wrapped up because I had an operation, so I'm uh, trying to still recover from all that. And of course, you can set the bar, you know, on those safeties. Do your do your warm ups with very light weight on your um, biceps or whatever. And even if you had heavy weight on there, you can do that here and just set it down and just leave it. So if you're really considering getting a rack and you were thinking about going Rogue, Rogue is a great company and their product is awesome. I've seen it. Uh, a lot of pros use it. 
I would say almost most pros that you probably know use it. But most people you know are probably not pros, you know, pro bodybuilders or anything like that. And so if you want a rack and you still want that pro quality without spending the pro money, I would say that Force USA should be at least on the top of your list. The quality is unbelievable for the price. The service is unbelievable for the price. 10% off for military, 30% money, money back guarantee, lifetime structural warranty, free shipping. It ships within two business days. I received everything they told me I was going to receive. I never had to call customer service um, for something they did. It was something I needed to do. I needed to change the, the timing. Uh, I don't have any sponsorship, and I'm not getting anything for you guys going there. I'm just letting you know that it's high-quality stuff here, and I think you'd be very happy. So all you need to do is go to www.forceusa.com. And what I plan on doing, actually, is actually merging this the the workout in this gym with some of my visual effects stuff you know maybe put on a motion capture suit and then go exercise and see how it looks you know uh in the digital realm when i'm doing a uh, bench or something like that with the motion capture suit so that's probably a pretty good idea i'll probably look into that a little bit later and merge the two concepts all right so i hope this helps you guys out and if you have any questions uh, or comments go ahead and leave them in the comment section below